As Eleanor III da Romano was an Italian feudal lord in the March of Treviso who was a close ally of the Emperor Frederick II and ruled Verona, Vicenza and Padua for almost two decades. He became infamous as a cruel tyrant though much of his sinister reputation may be due to the propaganda of his many enemies. Biography Early life is Eleanor was son of his Eleanor II da Romano, ruler of Bassano and other fiefs in the Veneto, and Adelaide degli Alberti di Mongona, who came from a family of counts in Tuscany. At the age of four years, he was sent as a hostage to Verona. Nothing else is known about his childhood or education. In 1213, he took part in the siege of the castle of Est, which belonged to his father's archenemy, Marquis Azo Vi of Est, who died in 1212, and later to his son Aldebrandino. According to the chronicler Rolandino of Padua, the young Nice Eleanor already showed a keen interest in siege craft and acquired a hatred of the Est which would last his entire life. Rise to power 1226 to 1239 when as Eleanor II retired to a monastery in 1223, his possessions went to his sons Alberico, who got the castles and villages in the Contado of Ascenza and as Eleanor, who got the possessions in the Contado of Treviso. In 1226 as Eleanor intervened in a faction struggle in Verona and aided the Viranese factions of the Monticuli and Quachu or Vigenti against their enemies, the so-called Pars Comitus, which was headed by the Viranese Count Richard of San Bonifacio. From this time onwards as Eleanor became an important factor in Viranese politics. In 1226-1227 he was Podesta of the city. At this time control over Verona was highly important because Emperor Frederick II was in conflict with the Second Lombard League, an alliance of cities in northern Italy. Whoever controlled Verona could block the Brenner Pass and thereby prevent the arrival of reinforcements for Frederick from Germany. As Eleanor initially favoured the Lombard League which could block the Brenner in 1226 and emerge victorious from its first confrontation with the Emperor. Later, however, as Eleanor and his brother Alberico changed sides when it became apparent that the League favoured their enemies in the march. The Est and San Bonifacio. In 1232 they struck an alliance with Frederick and received an imperial privilege of protection. However four years passed before Frederick could personally intervene in the March of Treviso. The years 1232 to 1236 were therefore very hard for as Eleanor and Alberico, who were assaulted by many enemies, primarily the San Bonifacio the Est and the city of Padua. In 1236 Frederick finally arrived in the march. Since his Eleanor and his Viranese allies, the Monticuli and Quachu or Vigenti had gained control of Verona in early 1236, the emperor could bring reinforcements, among them 3,000 German knights, from across the Alps into the march. In a campaign that began in November 1236 Frederick and as Eleanor, who was becoming an increasingly important ally of the Emperor, subjugated all the important cities of the March of Treviso. In 1236 says Olino married Selvager, Frederick's natural daughter, who was 13 years old at the time, as Eleanor conquered Verona and by trees and Padua, seizing the position of Podesta of that city. He was one of the protagonists in the Ghibelline imperial victory of Cortenuava, and was named imperial viceroy for the March of Treviso. His long-lasting struggle against Azu VII, the new Duke of Est after 1215, ended with the total defeat of the latter, and the annexion of many territories for as Eleanor. Last years after a pacification attempt by Frederick, when the Emperor set off again, as Eleanor attacked the Est, submitting Treviso.
Belluno and Felta, as Eleanor was now lord of all lands between Trento and the Olio River. He had acquired a reputation for cruelty and merciless use of torture against enemies and alleged plotters in the cities he ruled. In 1249, five years after Selvage's death, he married Beatrice di Bu on Traverso. In 1254, four years after Frederick II's death, he was excommunicated by Pope Innocent IV, who also launched a crusade against him. He reconciled with his brother and allied with other seniors of the Veneto and Lombardy, attacking Padua, which resisted, and Brescia, which was instead sacked after an easy victory of his German knights over the Crusade army. In 1258 he launched a broad Ghibelline offensive in Lombardy and Veneto along with Obita Pallavicino of Cremona. In 1259 he assaulted the castle of Priola, near Vicenza, and had all the defenders mutilated. After a failed attempt to assault Milan itself, he was wounded by an arrow in the course of the Battle of Cassano Dada. He had to retreat but was captured near Bergamo. Legacy much of what we know about his Eleanor comes from a literary tradition that was embroidered over the course of centuries. Despite the brevity of his reign, Zazelino's reputed cruelty became symbolic of tyranny. Poets and chroniclers living in recent memory of his tactics used his name to evoke the sense of arbitrary power and the moral transgressions it enabled. 14th-century authors raised the level of accusation, insisting that his Elino's parentage was demonic. Rolandino of Padua's Chronicle of the Trevisan March charts the rise and the fall of the Da Romano family, introducing as Eleanor as a young man throwing stones at the home of the family rival. Albertino Musato Cesarinis portrays as Eleanor as the son of the devil. The Latin verse play introduces as Elino's mother, who provides testimony of the tyrant's infernal sire. In Dante Alieri's Divine Comedy, his soul is consigned to hell, where Dante encounters him in the seventh circle, first ring, the violent against their neighbors. His younger sister Cunitza is also cited by Dante, in Paradise, IX, 31-33. Before Zelenor, the seizing of political power in city-states throughout the Middle Ages had been based on real or pretended inheritance claims, or else were directed against infidels and the excommunicated. But with him, as the historian Jacob Bicardet relates, here for the first time the attempt was openly made to found a throne by wholesale murder and endless barbarities by the adoption in short of any means with a view to nothing but the end pursued. The example set by the success of this kind of ruthlessness was not lost on the future. Tyrants of late Middle Age and early Renaissance Italy